It seems to me, first of all, from what I understand from doctors, that's really rare. If it's a legitimate rape, uh, the female body has ways to try to shut that whole thing down. And when it comes to establishing your worldview, I was curious, what newspapers and magazines did you regularly read before you were tapped for this to stay informed and to understand the I've world? read most of them, again, with a great appreciation for the press, for the media. But like what coming, specifically? I'm curious that you... Um, all of them, any of them that um, have, have... Can demonic spirits attach themselves to, to uh, inanimate objects? The answer is yes. Welcome to Twat Waffle of the Week. So I had a few stragglers from last week, but sadly it's taken me a wee bit longer than usual to skip things out as I've been feeling a bit meh. So here's the final few stories. A lot of our usual suspects. Enjoy. Well, Marjorie Taylor Greene's reaction, response, I'm not sure really what to call it, is bad. Wendy Rogers is actually worse. They're both bad, to be honest. I'll first deal with Marjorie Taylor's and then attack Wendy Rogers. Our farmers, are they stand for all of our values, traditional family values, freedom independence, the ability to live um, and sustain yourself and your family off the land. The Biden administration and the Democrats are ruining that, and they're destroying the very important, most critical part of the fabric of America, and that is our farmers. And I'm so upset about this. It, it has me so angry, but they're doing it on purpose. I mean, they want, they want to be the global economy. They want to be completely involved. And here we have these random, supposedly accidental fires at food processing plants. According to the Rolling Stone, quote, Nearly two dozen food processing plants have gone up in flames this year. This isn't out of the ordinary. There are thousands of fires at manufacturing facilities every year, according to the National Fire Protection Association. But the blazes have drawn extra attention because of the food shortage. Green is among several conspiracy theorists to suggest foul play may be afoot, writing in a tweet earlier this week that the fires are supposedly random while making a point about how our food supplies are in trouble. Green elaborated during an appearance on InfoWars, yes, Alex Jones, earlier this week, suggesting to Alex Jones that Democrats are starting the fires on purpose in order to deprive the nation of food, which would be advantageous for them because they're playing some sort of globalist long game and don't want anything to be manufactured in America, or something like that. It's not totally clear. The Biden administration and the Democrats are destroying very important most critical part of the fabric of America, and that is our farmers. Green ranted, they're doing it on purpose. They want to be the global economy. They want to be completely involved. And here we have these random, supposedly accidental fires at food processing plants. End quote. Now on to Roger's claim. Specifically, Bill Gates bought lots of farmland. Gates owns approximately 242,000 acres of farmland. While this is certainly a lot of acreage, it represents less than 1% of all the farmland in the United States. While conspiracy theories claim that Gates is buying up farmland in order to starve Americans from poor some unknown reason, there is likely a simpler explanation. Gates makes money off this land. Plain and simple. So yeah, he owns a lot of land, but 
he's making a lot of money too. Susan Collins from Maine filed a police report complaining that an unknown individual wrote a message on the sidewalk in front of her home in chalk urging her to support legislation to protect women's reproductive rights. There's one issue. Quote, Historian Agnes Johnston notes, Chalking public sidewalks is legal in Bank, where Colin lives. He points to a 2020 Wabi, W-A-B-I, article that reports Bangor has no ordinance against chalk writing on public property, something the Mansion Church has done for years." End quote. Now, my issue with this, you would think that an individual in her position, especially a position of power, would know better, or at least have the resources to know the, what the law states instead of wasting the time of the police. And finally, Roe versus Wade was never about the fetus. Quote, You have no choice, not your choice, not your body. Your body is mine. End quote. And if you listen to the entire clip, it does actually get worse. Hey, not the church, not the state, the people must decide their face. I am the people. I am the people. You are the people. I am the people. The people have decided, the court has decided. You lose. We take no choice. We take no choice. You have no choice. Not your body, not your choice. Your body is mine, and you're happy to obey me. To borrow from Amy Siskind, this is where we are headed, folks. She hit the nail on the head with that one. So that does it for the remnants from last week. Trust me, there were way more. But time is running short. So I will see you in a few days with headlines from this week. Peace out, y'all.